The Steubenville Conferences are an outreach of Franciscan University and our patron is St. Francis, who heard the call from Christ to go rebuild the church. We put on conferences across North America for youth, young adults, and adults, where it is our hope that we're sharing the love of Christ with those that attend. It takes 18 months of prayer, planning, and preparation in order to execute the conferences. We have thousands of volunteers and then our conference partners that are working year-round, sometimes over a year, just to make the conferences happen. But it's all worth the fruit. I was kind of duped into youth ministry um, in high school, and I always tease and I say that God used uh, pizza, volleyball, and girls uh, to first put his you know, first hook in me or whatnot. And it was probably when I was a junior in high school, I was on a service camp, and I was actually in confession, and it was the first time that I was, it was in confession that a priest ever asked me directly, have you ever thought about the priesthood? I had a soccer coach who, uh, who was a great man. He was also my religion teacher. Uh, I used to get detentions all the time. And so in detention, one day he just, he simply asked, uh, how is God loving you? And I remember I didn't have an answer. And so that kind of is what sparked uh, some, some curiosity and some interest because because I wanted an answer. I wanted to know about this God who supposedly loved me. And it was this teacher who first introduced me to Steubenville. I was really mentored uh, by a youth minister, um, and I wasn't a youth, that's for sure. I had four kids by then, and uh, she brought me to a conference uh, to be a chaperone. And uh, God just hit me really hard that, you know, my gosh, I'm missing the, the life of Christ. It was all in the same summer that the priest first asked me in the confessional, have you thought about the priesthood? And then within a month, I was at a Steubenville Youth Conference. Um, and it was the first time that I'd been at a conference like that. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Uh, I knew it was a weekend away, and a weekend away from, from the country and away from the small town was, was an exciting weekend. And so, so I went and uh, yeah, the conferences, they, they were just something new for me. I don't know, I went and I just felt very drawn to keep going and uh, I really liked it. And I think um, being here now working as a youth minister here, it's kind of like a catalyst to kick off my year. When people walk into the main venue at a Steubenville conference, they're immediately surrounded by thousands of other believers who are fired up about their faith. What we see with our conference outreach is the power of invitation, that people are going and they're sharing about their experience of the conferences and bringing others. And this is how we continue to build and rebuild the church. Uh, over 10 plus years, I've been able to participate in uh, the conferences. And primarily, uh, the youth conferences are such a powerful event to be able to be part of. Uh, because when we start on Friday night, there's all this uh, joyfulness and praise and worship singing going on and you still see the kids looking around there are a few of them not quite sure what's going on yet but throughout the course of that weekend you see that transformation that takes place in their lives such as they become on fire by Sunday morning and really want uh, to continue to grow deeper in their relationship with Christ and continue to have an effect in the church and in the world you know by the time Sunday came around and they they asked the question, you know, is there anybody out there thinking about the priesthood? That all of those dynamic experiences that I received through the Steubenville Retreat Conference at least made it a possibility. And I said, I don't know, but I'm willing, you know, and so that's what gave me the courage even to stand up next to my girlfriend and say, you know, if I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
As the weekend progressed, you started to realize that there was something deeper going on and there was something at the heart of it that, that was really life-changing. And I remember Saturday night during adoration, um, probably the first time I'd ever been to adoration, um, just kind of having this moment that I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know exactly what I was supposed to be doing, but I remember that there was something there that, that I knew that I needed to experience more of. The reason why I felt inspired to start bringing some adults was because all the adults wanted to go to the youth conference. Some of them don't know why they're coming, um, but they're, they're intrigued, and that, that's the Holy Spirit too, you know. You know, Franciscan University of Steubenville is truly, truly a special place. We hear that from so many people that, that come to our campus. And I think one of the biggest things in relation to our conferences is community. And we're very excited about where we're going uh, with all of our conferences for youth, young adults, and adults. We go to the Lord and we pray. And we say, God, what do you want? What do you want next? How do you want us to handle this challenge or this next situation that we have? Or what conference do you want next? And so the biggest thing that we do is that we follow Jesus. We let Him lead us and guide us and direct us and show us where He wants us to go next. The atmosphere there, um, I don't know, it just draws people in. But what I love about it is it doesn't stay there. You want to give what you yourself have received. And so it's kind of like, well, if, if these activities made me fall in love with my faith, then I want to be able to share those activities with the young people that now I'm trying to kind of grow with and journey with. I think God is doing a lot in a lot of different avenues and areas of the church. But I think there's something special with the student conferences. I would say without the conferences, I wouldn't be where I am. Being able to bring uh, the teachings of the church to them, to be able to help them to hear the voice of truth, to be able to help them uh, to develop virtue in their own lives, uh, rather than listening to what the world wants to tell them. If what happens at our conference dies at the conference and is not spread forth, then our mission dies. It is our hope, our prayer, that everyone who comes and has this radical encounter with the love of Jesus will go forth with the desire to spread that love and be equipped to share the gospel in a way that brings new life to their friends, their family, and their parish. I believe what we're doing as a, as a university and as the Christian Outreach Office is critical to the church. I mean, it's amazing uh, what God has allowed us to participate in. We're in rebuilding. We really are. Not rebuilding theology, not rebuilding doctrines, rebuilding hearts. Come and experience the love of Christ, not only in the sacraments, but also through the love of Christ in the people that are here. Come and see what the experience of the Steubenville Conferences is all about.